Hey guys, it's Melanie here. I am coming to you with a fun read in the New Year challenge. That's from Oshina, which I said her name incorrectly last time. It's Oshina. I can't believe I did that, but that is dyslexic of me, so that makes sense. And Holly, they are the ones that are putting this together. So I'm really excited to be a part of this challenge. I hope that you guys get to be a part of it too. I think it's really great. I think sometimes you can get into a bit of a lull after Christmas and then with all the excitement of Christmas and everything and then forget to pick up your books and read them. <laughs> so I think it's a great challenge. Um, I've got some books that are, I'm, I really hope that I can get to. I mean, it's only a week and knowing my issues, I think that it's a big challenge for me uh, specifically right now. I'll show you the books that I've chosen. I think that they're going to be super exciting. Actually, I'm looking forward to reading them. Whether I continue reading them um, past January it kind of gets me set up for the new year, and then that way I can just continue with that going forward. So the prompts are uh, really fun questions. I really like them a lot. The first one is lose weight, read a book that's under 250 pages. I found one and it was actually already something I had picked out and put near my um, pile of books near my bed um, that I've been wanting to read. I have never read it. I picked it up a long time ago. I like Rachel Cocker. She's an incredible writer. One of her other books is one of my favorites for the summer incredible book. But this one here um, is another book that she wrote. I'm really trying to read the books that I own right now and not purchase any new ones. Um, and then I'm actually going to be downsizing quite a bit of my books um, and getting rid of books that are sitting there that I'm not going to reread again um, for the physical copy or that I really want to have in my library. So this book though, I want to try it out and see. I know Rachel Cocker doesn't write anymore and she's uh, on a, a bit of a different path, but I really like her writing. It just comes under the mark for pages. So it's actually 247. The next prompt that eat is the next prompt is eat healthy, which I think is super fun. I am on that journey already in my own personal life, so I think it's super great that I get to be on the journey in reading. And this book here is read a book that has a focus of food on the cover or the title. So with this one, I actually found a really interesting book that I had in my library, my own personal library, and uh, picked it up because it was actually a discard. I hate seeing that. Right there, discard. Oh, it makes me so sad that books could ever be discarded. The it's Laura Child's Steeped in Evil. It also includes recipes in the back, which I already looked at. They they look really fun. It's a new to me author, actually. I've never read anything from her, but it's a murder mystery, suspense, kind of like. Um, clue like a whodunit sort of thing. In the newest mystery from the New York Times best-selling author of Sweet Tea Revenge, Indigo Tea Shop owner Theodosia... <laughs> I'm gonna call her Theo. Browning is about to learn the true meaning of terror. Terror. Terror? Uh, man, these words, like seriously. It looks like terror, but it has an O-I-R at the end. Um, yeah. Your guess is as good as mine, but I'll just leave it there. So I'm going to call her Theo because, yeah, Theo. Theo has never considered herself a wine connoisseur. Tea has always been her forte, which is also mine, so that's fun. But that doesn't mean she's going to pass up an invitation to a fancy wine tasting party at the upscale Night Hall Winery just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. But a sweet evening that takes on a bitter aftertaste when a dead body is discovered in one of the wine barrels. The son of proprietor Jordan Knight has been murdered. Distaste, dissatisfied with the police of the investigation, Knight turns to Theo, oh fun, See, way easier to say, Theo, for help. She's heard through the grapevine, no pun intended, 
that there are both family and business problems at Night Hall, but everyone at the winery seems to be lying through their teeth. Also kind of a pun. Sorting through the guest list as well as family and staff, Theo has her pick of suspects. It may look like the killer has her over a barrel. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many puns. <laughs> but cracking tough cases is vintage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm already liking this kind of punny sort of weird humor that is totally my up my alley. So I'm thinking I'm gonna like her writing. We'll see. I don't know. She, I don't think she's a Christian art uh, author at all, but it's a murder mystery. I want to try some more. <laughs> and this was free, basically. So that is for my eat healthy prompt. The next prompt is drink more water, which we should all do. And I'm desperately trying to do that because I do drink a lot of tea. So I need to drink more water because tea dehydrates you. <laughs> Makes no sense, but I, I still do it. This one is read a book that has water on the cover. So I don't think I'm going to get to this book, but I still wanted to pick it just in case I continue reading on in my reading journey for January. And I've wanted to read this book for a long time anyways. It's Heartless by Anne Elizabeth Stengel. And I just love the cover of this book so much. It's so beautiful. Um, it's the dragon king seeks his princess who dares to stop him. Um, I won't go into reading it too much, but it's actually also in a series, which is another prompt. So I'm going to keep this as two prompts. So I think it goes for both. So water and exercise more. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I do want to read it in the new year. Again, it's one of those ones that are on my shelf. I guess you could say this is a read your shelf challenge as well, because obviously that's what I'm trying to do. So it goes for both. Next is social media detox, which I've already done in my life and I'm so happy I've done it. I definitely have way more time. I'm mentally not overstimulated by what's going on in the world, which is wonderful. And this one is read a historical novel, which I already have as my go-to this year anyways, which is this one. It's She's also a new to me author. I started to kind of peek through this one, as you can tell by my doggy ears. Please don't hate me. And I'm actually really liking this. It's an easy read, and I think for my mind right now, it's super great. I've seen in comments that it's not as great, but this is historical fiction, um, and I am really liking it so far. The next is Make a New Friend, which I'm always up for, and that one is Read a New to You Author. So I am so excited. I'm going to read Agatha Christie's Third Girl. I picked this up a long time ago, and I don't even know when I did, to be honest with you. It's an older book anyways, and I, I have no idea when I picked this up, but I did pick it up, or maybe someone gave it to me. I, I really just have no idea how this ended up on my shelf, but I saw Chantel do a try to attempt to solve an Agatha Christie novel, and so when I saw this on my shelf, I thought, oh, I really want to do that. That sounds so fun. So... I was like, okay, I'll do that. But then I saw the prompt on here, which is really cool because Agatha Christie is not someone I've ever read. She, I've seen some of the movies made by her, but or her books, but I've never actually read her myself. So this is a new to me author. So it works for the prompt as well as it will be um, a video where I attempt to solve this one. So don't tell me anything about it. Otherwise I'll be very sad because I hate getting spoiled. Yes. The next one is save money, which is always great. And it says to read a book that you've never bought. And I'm going to really be cheating with this one because technically it's December and I'm reading it. But to be honest with you, like I'm only halfway through this book and I feel like I'm going to end up reading it in the beginning of January with how slow I'm going. So especially with the kids home, like seriously, the kids being home is not easy to read while children are home. <laughs> Even at nighttime, especially while they're home and there's no school to wake up to in the morning. They're really not letting me sleep at all. But anyways, um, 
I'm going to use this one because I actually got this, I won this from Betsy St. Emil. It was really sweet. I'm really enjoying this book. I'm going to be posting a vlog, Christmas vlog sort of idea where I'm reading this book, which is really fun, and kind of see where my thoughts are and how I'm processing the book as it goes. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. So this one is the Save Money prompt. That's it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I got all the prompts, which is really nice. I don't know if I'm going to actually finish these books. I will try to vlog it. Thank you, Sheena and Holly, for doing this. I think it's super fun. I'm so glad to be a part of it. And I will link Oshina and Holly's videos in the description below. I wish you all a great New Year as well. Bye.